How's it going YouTube? I did a post a couple of weeks ago saying that uh, I'm not doing any videos because I had laser eye surgery so it's been a bit horrible the last few weeks but I'm back now, we need to do a bit more work, I need to do a bit on the camper actually, I am going to do some on the MR2 soon, I know it's, I did a V8 video and then it's like not gone anywhere but it, it is going to take a bit to get that actually started but once it's going it's, it's going to go. Today I need to do a few bits on the back of the van I've got some posh lights and some other bits I've bought here I can't remember what because it's been a few weeks I will actually do some videos on the MR2 soon I have got some bits let me show you actually right there we are just so you can see I'm actually getting some bits we've got a k-tuned shifter there I've got some shifter cables I'm going to try and actually fit these now onto the the engine we've got I'll see if I can modify it so it works and because I think that'll look good but this is for the V8 we need to try and make that work somehow we'll manage it uh, actually down here as well uh, I've got another Apple CarPlay unit there which I'm going to fit in the MR2 we'll do that in the next few weeks but today I just wanted to finish off the back of the van I've got some transporter HQ LED lights that look a lot nicer so I'm going to put those on I need to take off the two stripes that go down the back as well because they look a bit weird with everything else so I've got another idea what to do so we'll have a look at that so I'm going to have a bit of a swap around here and then we'll have a look at these shall we I need to get these wheels sold as well and get those on Facebook Market or something later. Right in the way. Right, there we are, that's the van parked up. Uh, these are the lights I've got in here now. They're just stock lights. Uh, I've changed the bulbs for chrome ones to take the yellow out. Right, here we are. These have definitely not been on the van for the last few weeks and I've definitely not just taken them off just to do this video. So let's take one out of the box and have a look. There we are, there's the new ones. It's like a, a smoked effect, all LED, LED bar lights and the sequential indicators and these literally just plug straight in and replace the original stock ones as I said these are from Transporter HQ they did have another type as well that was like the new uh, Transporter style with like the little F shaped bars but I wanted it to be a bit more original than looking like a newer shaped van so I went for this style uh, on the back you can see there this is literally the same loom that comes on the van and this plugs straight in so we'll have a quick look now what we'll do next is there's the other one as well we've got two in here I definitely didn't just pack this one back in the box either and make it look like I'd just opened it up uh, but there's the other one so what we'll do is we'll take the other lights off I just happen to have got a screwdriver there so let's have a look we'll get the old ones off and get these new ones on I'm not going to show you what the old ones look like, everybody knows what original lights look like so we'll have a look how to fit these new ones and then we'll have a look what the new ones look like lit up so I'll get this back open and we'll see how to change them Right, here we are, bit of a squeeze under there because obviously the van door's open but if it starts raining again at least it makes things a bit easier let me set this camera up here and just at the side of the lights there we've got two screws these little Phillips head screws so I'm going to take these out and then this should undo the light Right, I know this has only got one that holds, that first one's just kind of there but it's not holding. So you pull it away slightly and it clips off to one side. If you look on the back there, you can see it's got these little bits here that those bits there fit in. So if you undo the screws then push it to one side, it comes straight off. Uh, on the loom, uh, this is for some other lights I had, forget about that. Uh, on the loom, it's got a little tab, click it over and then that should just pull out I know this one's, this side's a bit tight there we are, it's got that little bit there, you just push that across, you hear it click then that undoes it and then you can pull it out that's literally it, that's the old one off right, new light is the exact opposite to that 
we've got the loom there that plugs into this loom plug it in until it clicks the opposite of GAN those two bits there they push into these little bits here from the side push them in from the side until they clip in and put the screws back in that is literally it that is how easy it is to change these lights two minute job there you are so I'll do the other side and then we'll have a look what they look like. There you are, done. Right, there you are, there's the back of the van with the new lights on, that looks a lot cleaner now. So what I'll do is I'll show you what they look like switched on. Lights, brake lights, there's the indicators, reverse and fog. I think I've only got one fog light wired up. Yeah, so one fog light wired up on this. You can run a wire across and wire both of them up, but I'm not going to bother. I'll just leave it like that. But I think that looks great. There you are, really quick modification, not too expensive either. Uh, I'll put a link down to Transport HQ and where I got these lights and, and everything, so just so you can check them out for yourself if you want to. Um, I bought these lights myself, I had nothing to do with Transport or HQ, so there's no discount codes or anything like that, but I will put some links down below where I got them from so you can, you can have a look yourself. While I'm here, I want to do a bit more work on this back. I want to take those two stripes off because it looks a bit odd from a distance and just change the design slightly. What I want to do is take the stripes off and then from this point here all the way across that strip, I want to paint that the military black, the same as the, well, sorry, the military grey, the same as this side down here. So I'm going to paint that grey and then I've got, it might look a bit cheesy though, We'll find out. I've got like a decal with mountains and trees and stuff to put all the way across the back on the top of that stripe. So that, that bit will be that decal. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. If it looks rubbish, I'll take it off later. But what we'll do is we'll decide later. So I just want that black, black strip at the bottom grey and I want these stripes off. So I'm going to get my heat gun and get these stripes off. See if I can get them off the best I can. I might have to polish some bits on these edges a bit later because you might be able to feel the edge because these have been on a long time now these stripes so let me get those off i'm just using the heat gun because i know it'll come off a lot easier and come off in one piece doing it like that if you do it while it's cold it just brittle and it just breaks and takes ages to get off Right, there's one off. That's that bit I was talking about there. You've, I've got to polish that out. I'll get that out in a minute. Uh, I've got a bit of a dent down there. That's where I reversed into a tractor in my old job. So hopefully that uh, military paint will cover that up a bit. But sorry, dubbed campers, you're going to have to come off. You're in the way. I need to paint across there. So I'm going to get the rest of this off and I'll see you back in a minute. Right, there's everything off. If it weren't so wobbly at the bottom end, I'd leave it plain like that, to be honest, but it's really wobbly back door at the back end. It was always like that when I bought it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what I've said. That black strip is gonna be the military gray. I'm gonna try that decal across there. Uh, if it looks rubbish, I'll take it off later, but that's my plan. Uh, what I've gotta do is I've gotta get these bits off here where the stripes were what I'll do is I'll try and polish those off. I've got a, a little Milwaukee polisher. I'm going to use that. I've got some G3. Uh, so I'm going to give that a go. Try not to polish through the paint. Try not to cover everything in white stuff. Let's see how it goes. Right. 
Right, I've got most of it out. I've had to up the ante though to uh, a rubbing compound. That, keep, that got it going. So now that one's done. I've got those others to do. And then we'll come back when I've wiped it all off and it's nice and clean and done. Uh, that bit down there, I've got to use sandpaper on that all the way across anyway, so I'm not bothered about doing that. Right, I've just remembered, I've got this cutting compound, this is a lot better, so I'm going to use this on it and get it done with that. Right, there we are, that's all polished off now. I've put some tape on here just to mark up where we're going, because I'm going to, that's where I'm going to mask it off. As you can see, it's right below the lights where I said it's going to go across a black strip there. So I'm going to get that masked off, I'm going to get that sanded down, uh, I don't know whether to leave the handle grey or do it black. I might leave it grey to start with, even though it'll stick out, just to see. But let's get that ready, and then I can get that painted before it gets dark. Uh, that's the only problem this time of year, is we've got really short days. And the weekends I'm kind of busy as well, so I have to get a move on. Right, it's just started raining a little bit, so I've used that box there with Fragile Rote on it, just to jam up between this door and I've opened this, so... I can get to paint it okay, it's sanded down a bit now, uh, what I've done actually is I've sanded down this as well and taped off this lock, I'm going to paint that all one colour as well so it's going to look a bit daft, uh, the box was fragile in. That's a, a new step for the, for the inside because if you look at this one, move that out of the way, uh, that's all scratched to death so that, that new one's going to tidy that up all nice, I better shut this door now actually while it's raining. Right, so what I've got down here, uh, we've got a roller, I need to change that, I've got one more little roller up there so I can use that. That's the military paint I've been using all along, uh, I'll just get some gloves on then we'll open it up. Uh, what this is, I've used this before, uh, this is like a, a really dark grey military paint. Uh, if you look back in my uh, Swamper videos, I think it's the first one it's got all the links and everything where you can buy this from i've been using this throughout the build so i'm going to get the some of this in there get that new roller roller it on the back of that door so i'm literally going to roller this on just the same as i have done on the sides it looks really rough doesn't it when you do something like this on a nice camper but the results are good so let's have a look at this when it's done Right, that's done. Uh, you can't really see it properly at the minute. I'm going to get that tape off in a minute before it dries. I just want to let it set a little bit more and then I'll put the door down and I'll leave it for a bit and then we'll have a look. Right, it stopped raining again. So while that's drying, I'm going to take this step out and see if I can change it for that new one. Uh, it might look a bit weird because this is grey and the new step's black. But what I have got intention of doing later is with this, do the same as this with this uh, little suede sticky stuff I'll get some more of that and then do this bottom one down here so then it'll it'll follow all the way down then so let's see if I can remember how to take this out I think it just prizes out right yes and no it does just prize out but it's got a little bit there that hooks behind here I couldn't remember that bit but it's done now anyway it comes out and it's got these little white clips everywhere that I need to clip onto the new one I assume so I'm just gonna undo this light and then get the new one ready All right, new step in much better than that one not super interesting but it just passes some time while I'm waiting for that to dry All right, there's a back done uh, it looks a bit shinier than what it's supposed to be and a bit blacker than this black because it's not quite dry yet so I'm gonna leave that to go off and then we'll get this sticker across the back just to finish this top half off and then I think it'll look all right, hopefully. All right, there it is. I've got two of them, so if I mess it up a little bit, uh, it's, it's quite a bit wider than the van, so I'm going to pick a point where it'll start on the van. I probably want one bit of a tree on this side and then it's straight into the mountains and then wherever it ends up, it ends up. I'll have a look in a second, line it up, and see where we're going to do it from. First job, I'm going to take this number plate off, make it all a bit easier. But I have, like I said, I've got two of these, so if I mess it up, I can do it again, or I can patch it up with bits from the other one and make it okay. Right, there's about where I'm going to put it. Obviously, it's not white, that's just a backing. Uh, that tree is just going to be on that side. This tree, I'm going to cut off, and I'm going to move it in 
because where that bike rack was there it's got some chips in the paint so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that tree off and then I'm going to position it somewhere over those chips. I'm going to get that on now and let's see what it looks like. Right, as I've got that first bit done, it should go on pretty straight now. Right, I'm not sticking it down too hard because there's a few bits here I've got to pull back up once I cut it so I can get it back so it's nice and straight. Right, as I said, I want to save this tree so I can put it over there. So I'll do that in a minute. Right, I'm going to get all that cut off and smoothed out. Let's have a look when it's done. Right, so there it is. That's all on. I think actually that looks quite good on there. I don't know if I can see it from another angle. Hang on. Getting a bit dark now so you can't really see it properly. But what we'll do is we'll have a proper look at that another day. But I think that's turned out all right, actually. I'll just get some of these stickers off the window as well and just take those up just to tidy the back end up a, a little bit. Let's have a look actually with the lights on now it's starting to get a little bit darker. Right, I've turned the lights off in the garage so we can see them a bit better now. Right, there we are. There's the side lights on. Brake light. Indicator. I think they're looking good now. Right, there we are. I've moved it down the drive a little bit more so we can see it. I think that's turned out actually quite good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See if it looks a bit corny or it actually looks all right. Well, personally, I'm thinking that's look okay. Right, there we are, that's all done. As you can see now, it's getting a bit dark. Comment below, let me know what you think of that. I think it actually looks quite good. It's turned out better than I thought it was gonna turn out. I thought it'd look a bit cheesy, but it's, it's not too bad. So comment below and let me know what you think. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see some more. And I promise soon we're going to do some more on the MR2. So I've got my old eyes, brought out my old jacket to match. And I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.